Hi students, and welcome to my video lectures on a process plant operator using simulator training. And please do follow my earlier lectures, and uh, which will give you focused on the what are the different kind of controllers. And uh, today uh, we are going to discuss uh, more about a flash drum. Okay. Uh, industrially, the flash drum has got its own importance. Okay. Sometimes. Uh, before it's sent into the distillation column, they wanted to uh, separate uh, a few components in the crude form. I mean, not just a exact, I mean, pure, high purity kind of thing. I mean, it's a kind of preliminary separation before it goes to the distillation column. And uh, not just to the before the distillation column, there are operations uh, where you wanted to cut down the, you know, ex operating expenses like a reboiler. Um, you know, uh, uh, for those kind of situations, uh, we have to go for this uh, flash drum. Flash drum is used to separate uh, the components. Uh, like uh, benzene, toluene, xylene, I mean, typical solvents normally, you know, people, uh, industries people use. Then we have to go for this less, I mean, expensive uh, separations, uh, which is called flash drum. Uh, let us go to the simulator mode and see uh, what exactly, I mean, we are looking towards the flash drum. And uh, what you are seeing on the screen is called, uh, I mean, let's, let me display capture, we are fine. Yeah. Uh, what you are seeing uh, on the screen is called a flash drum. Okay, uh, there is some feed consisting of uh, a benzene and toluene and xylene because there is certain flow. I mean, of, uh, it goes into the flash drum through the hand indicating control. Okay, the composition of benzene, toluene, and orthoxylene are given along with the what is the feed temperature. I mean, uh, what is the temperature of the feed that goes into the flash drum is has been I mean uh, specified on the uh, screen okay and what you can observe the job of a flash drum is the whenever you send a material from high pressure to the low pressure region uh, immediately I mean if you remember you are know uh, what I mean is basics of the distillations and the vapor generations the moment you brought down uh, the I mean pressure and what happens suddenly the liquid will I mean some of the liquid will be vaporized because as you know the basics if you reduce the pressure the boiling point of the liquid will be reduced so whenever you brought the things from particular pressure to the low pressure region I mean suddenly some part of the liquid will be vaporized okay this is how the separation is going to take place in a flash drum the pressure will be decided by the temperature of the feed because you know vapor pressure uh, directly depends on what temperature you are dealing with so that the vapor pressure of the feed will be decided by the temperature presently at 100 degrees centigrade the feed is going into the flash drum the flash drum is maintained at one atmosphere the process value is one atmosphere the set value is one atmosphere. that means suddenly you brought down uh, i mean some components of the feed into the low pressure region so the, and uh, all of this thing the vaporization takes place the vaporization i mean the vapor pressure in the flash drum is around no one atmosphere they have to maintain this one atmospheres in the flash drum using pressure controller see it uh, measures the pressure the sensing element measure the pressure the process value which is in you know, a one atmosphere and if the suddenly if the high pressure has gone in i mean more if you release more amount of flow into the chamber automatically the pressure is going to rise uh, because i mean suddenly the uh, flow controller and um, uh, this particular valve will op i mean send more amount of uh, vapor out to control the pressure inside the chamber. Similarly, there is one more controller that is given, this is called level controller. So always you have to maintain certain amount of level, it is 50% level present, the process value is 50% and set value is the 50%. Accordingly, it will uh, open and close this particular valve. See, there are important things you all have to notice here. What is the job of a, I mean, flash drum is to separate the components. What are the components that goes in? Benzene, certain amount, Toluene certain amount and orthoxylene certain amount. And uh, now once the it, I mean once it is getting flashed in the flash drum, and you can see the exit I mean, from the overhead vapors. The overhead vapors consisting of 232 benzene, 65 
toline and orthoxylene is 27 here the orthoxylene is 250 here the orthoxylene is 27 imagine you have almost separated orthoxylene from the mixture using this flash run if you go to the bottom from bottom liquids and you see the benzene is 267 and toline is 184 and orthoxylene is 222 that means almost the inlet is 250 amount of orthoxylene kilomoles per hour is going in so almost the orthoxylene is separated from the bottom which is 222.07 see if, if you imagine uh, you don't require you uh, know expensive operations like distillation columns to separate the orthoxylene simple flash drum is enough to separate the orthoxylene you know from the feed mixture and presently the important operation okay i told you that this extent of separation is possible depending upon the pressure inside the vessel and presently the pressure inside the vessel is one atmospheres and uh, inlet pressure will be decided by the temperature of the feed which is 100 now now you observe the benzene and toline and orthoxylene i mean flow rates in the overhead waters what happens if i increase my pressure of this plastrum through this you know control valve and simply higher is the pressure higher is the boiling point so if you try to maintain the higher pressures in the flash drum of course less amount of vapor is going to get generated automatically the composition of the benzene which you i mean i mean benzene is will be reduced <clears throat> i mean all the components will be reduced because you have suddenly increased the pressure in the vessel that is what we are going to observe in the today's class see everything and notice this what are the different components that are going in there is a hand indicating control you can able to increase the flow to the tank okay these are the compositions 50 percent benzene 25 percent toline and 25 percent i mean like you can i mean orthoxylene the feed mixture is at 100 degrees centigrade okay this is what the initial parameters this is the level indicating control i mean level control this is the pressure control see what happens the moment i increase the pressure in the flash drum okay the set value is one and what do people need to observe right now see the benzene composition toline composition orthoxylene compositions see now i simply increase the pressure to set value 1.5 so what happens suddenly the valve i mean the moment i try to increase the pressure i mean the valve happening i mean i will try to explain so see the moment i try to increase the pressure the valve will be closed why because to increase the pressure in the vessel i have to cut down the outlet flow that is what this particular valve is going to do so and i mean that's what you observe let us see i increase the pressure now uh set value is uh, 1.5 let me okay see what happens okay suddenly the set va process value and set va process value will try to reach the set value uh, till then the valve will be you can see valve openings manipulated valve openings okay now once it reaches the set value automatically the valve will be open to maintain the pressure okay see observe the compositions of the benzene what is the earlier number what is the present number you can see the present number is getting reduced so accordingly you see if you try to i mean when the valve will be closed automatically the level in the tank is going to rise okay to maintain the level at the 50 percent again the this this particular controller will take care of by opening and closing this particular valve it will try to maintain the level in the flash drum so see the dynamics that are happening the flow imagine as i told you now by increasing the pressure of the flash drum less vapor generation is going to going to take place accordingly at the benzene fraction you see the benzene amount is got reduced because to maintain this pressure uh, oh, i mean you have to we see to maintain the pressure because you are all we are not changing the feed temperature feed temp entering into 100 only so what happens see, observe this number if I go for higher pressures, what is going to happen? See, set value now to. Now, what happens to reach to the process value, right? 1.71 and set value is 2, the valve will be closed. Uh, once it reaches the 2, the valve will be open. And observe this flow rate of the benzene as you increase the pressure, less amount of vapor is getting generated. So, accordingly, the flow will be reduced. Okay. Uh, let me fast forward the things for you a bit 
uh, so you're gonna absorb five times okay so the flow see the flow uh, the dynamics happens the level rises because of the reduction in the i mean increase in the pressure accordingly the level controller will take action by opening the more uh, by uh, increasing the valve opening so that more flow is going to come from the bottom see the benzene flow rates 20 it has reached 12 8 5 almost you can see it has reached to zero and imagine why is this happening why it has reached to zero because now you have increased to pressure such an extent there is no vaporization that is going to take place beyond two atmosphere the vapor which will exert the pressure is not not maintaining beyond two if it is not if it is no pressure generation inside there is a no flow that is going to exert that means if the, if the pressure is inside is beyond two then some vapor will try to come out but what happens now it is getting matched okay uh, that is the uh, process value is set value to atmospheres that means the pressure is not re increasing beyond two because for this temperature the amount of vapor pressure it will, it will generate is matching to two atmospheres uh, and uh, that is why there is no pressure excess pressure that is generating beyond two inside the vessel so there is no flow that is coming out from the chamber so what happens to for me to increase the flow and i have to increase the vapor pressure okay the pressure exertion okay inside the chamber that is possible if only i can increase the feed temperature more is the temperature more is the vapor pressure and if it goes inside the chamber it will exert pressure beyond two so some vapor is going to come out of the flash drum that is what the whole objective okay see what happens i'll increase the feed temperature set value of the initial temperature now i'll put it 150 see well, let us see what happens 150 now you can see uh, uh, the more pressure is getting generated beyond to some flow is trying to come out now is the flow is sufficient or not because see now an excess pressure uh, beyond two is getting generated to reduce the uh, pressure to the two some flow has to be released okay that is what happens so using this simulator you can able to change the feed temperature compositions of the benzene and toline and you can check at what temperature higher separation is possible what pressure higher separation is possible what are the dynamics that goes in the way so all these things can be done using this simulator i hope now you understand the basics of the flash drum one second let me come to the i hope you now you understand the basics of the flash drum okay how the process i mean control is going to take place what effect of temperature effect of composition you can study uh, this is what the base study you can do and which will increase your knowledge and how i mean the dynamics uh, you know, plays a significant role in the separation okay thank you very much this is dr sirindra signing off